can you feel it in the air? E3 2019 is almost upon us. Zach has already landed in LA and I myself will be getting on a plane to go over there in just a few hours. But today I wanted to bring you guys a last little bit of news. This is going to serve a little bit of a roundup because a few things happened and they aren't big enough to warrant their own video, but I still wanted to talk about them because I think they are important. If you want to stay tuned for our E3 coverage, make sure to hit the subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss anything. We will be bringing you the best coverage we possibly can and we appreciate each and every one of you for supporting. Also, don't forget to smash that like button if you enjoy this video, but with that out of the way, let's go ahead and get into these uh, three tidbits of news I want to talk about. The first one is not good, and that is that FIFA 20 on Nintendo Switch will not be the full version. It will be a scaled back Legacy Edition. EA has confirmed FIFA 20 coming to Switch, but it is not what we want. There was actually some really cool additions to this year's FIFA on other platforms, but Nintendo Switch isn't getting it. Instead, what Nintendo Switch is getting is some roster updates and kids, and it's going to be the same game as last year. So I don't know what that means as far as like price goes. Please don't buy it again. This is a very, a very nefarious practice, and EA should be ashamed of themselves for it. I don't like that this is happening. I don't even play FIFA that much. I play it a little bit. My friends are really, really into FIFA, but they don't play on Switch. And uh, this is probably one of the good reasons why. It isn't the full experience. This isn't what fans want. And uh, at least they're being open about it. <laughs> right? Because they could just be doing this and not saying anything. But it does seem like this is just a legacy edition. Um, you know, I'm sourcing this from Nintendo Life. I have a link for all three of these articles in the description. And they say that last year's version of FIFA 19 on the PS3 and 360 were legacy editions. Which makes sense because those consoles are... A little bit abandoned at this point. The the 360 and PS3 aren't where people play things as much anymore. And now it seems like Switch is getting that same treatment. Oh man, this is not good for FIFA fans. Let me know how you guys feel about it in the comments below. Alright, let's move on to something a little bit better. And that is that an amazing, amazing game with Nino Kuni Wrath of the White Witch Remastered has leaked. <laughs> and uh, PS4, Xbox One, and it seems like it is coming to Nintendo Switch as well. Maybe we don't get the remastered version. Maybe we just get Nino Kuni. But this is a really, really awesome game that has a very high Metacritic score. And this is honestly one of the best JRPGs in the last few years. I haven't even played it myself, but the reviews are all unanimous that it's like really, really good. Nino Kuni is a fantastic, fantastic little franchise. There hasn't been a lot of entries in it, but what has been released, people do love. It does have that Studio Ghibli art style that's just stunningly beautiful and who doesn't want another amazing JRPG on Nintendo Switch? I know I do. Now the game is a little bit older. It released in Japan in November 2011. It released in North America in 2013. Early 2013. But it is still a little bit of an older game. But that is something that happens with Switch quite often. We get these older remasters or, or ports and it's cool. But um, alongside this, another thing that happened. And I wasn't really going to mention it. But the next Tales game was also leaked in the same leak that, that this Nino Kuni thing happened. Uh, not very good leak preventage over there at Nemco. But besides that, the next Tales game got leaked and it is not coming to Switch. It looks really, really cool. It looks like it has a completely different engine and it really bummed me out that Tales isn't happening on Switch. That is sadness all around. Uh, Tales of Asperia Remastered on Switch was like awesome. I, it was such a good version of the game. You could take that with you on the go and I'm sad that the next new Tales adventure won't be on Switch. And I kind of expected it to be on Switch, so don't know what happened there. All right, the last thing we're going to talk about here is Spyro the Reignited Trilogy targeting September for Nintendo Switch. Now, we've heard about this game coming to Switch for a very very long time. The official website for the game at one point uh, listed a Switch version. And now it seems like it is finally happening, question mark? This one comes from Go Nintendo. They say that a reliable tipster like, gave them the tip and that they've done, given them tips before and that they've been correct in the past. And uh, on top of this, though, on top of this, uh, 3rd of September, by the way, is, is when they say it's in a release. They're also saying that Spyro's going to appear 
and Crash Team Racing Nitro Field. That's another little fun tidbit about this. Seeing Spyro drive a car is going to be a little weird, but hey, whatever. I think it'll be fun. I think the games themselves will be fun on Switch. We know that Crash did really well on Switch, and maybe Spyro can do the same. And I know fans have been waiting for this one. I don't know that I'm going to go back and play these myself. That was more of a Crash person growing up so i have more nostalgia for those titles but i am happy that it is apparently finally happening on switch i would expect it to be revealed during the direct but there you have it that is a nice little roundup of the things that have been happening as of late with uh, e3 these leaks these reports a lot of stuff has been spoiled but it's still gonna be a fun show i can't wait to get there and get my hands on all of these games thank you guys for watching we appreciate each and every single one of you you guys matter to us so so much leave a comment below letting us know what you think and we will catch you on the next one also follow us on twitter link is in the description check us out there switch force out